Hey guys, so I have made a video previously on how to make these um, foam candies that I do, but I have cast, sorry, she thinks I'm on the phone and that will drive her insane. Stop. No. Um, these foam candies, but I have made a ton since then and I have kind of changed how I do it and um, so I thought I would just make a new <clears throat> video. So these strips come on 12 by 18 foam sheets that you get from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Cass, stop. And then I cut them at one and a half inches. I'm going to do extra large candies today. So that takes three, I do two colors. So it'll take three, um, one and a half inch strips in the pink and three one and a half inch strips in the white to do one candy. And then the side pieces on the side pieces, those right here are just, I cut them in rectangles. They're three inches by five inches. Cass! I apologize. This is probably going to be during the whole thing. She's got issues. Um, and then I cut them myself. I'll do that in a little bit. Right now, I'm just gluing all the strips so that they're ready to go. Cass! She absolutely, she is a rescue. We've had her for almost a year now, and there's just something about when I am on the phone, going live, like anything phone related, if she hears it ring, she comes running. She's... She's rather, rather ate up <laughs> rescue. We love her, but she is complicated. I have so many strips here because this is for actual an actual order. So I'm making two candies, but I'm just going to show you one because it's a little bit time consuming. So I don't want the video to be super duper long. You have to hang on to these while you're folding them half and gluing them long enough that um, otherwise they'll start like, they'll start unfolding and popping open if you don't let the glue, the hot glue dry enough. I've got my glue gun on the lowest setting if yours has settings. So three of the white and three pink. Okay, for the two side pieces, these are three by five. You can buy the scissors that are like zigzagged or ridged or whatever um, and use those. I don't, I just cut my own. It's not perfect each time, it doesn't need to be, but I just like the way it looks better. I just start and I make three um, waves on the ends. It's always three on the sides. On the center, it just depends. Sometimes I get it the same every time. Sometimes I don't. And see, it doesn't look perfect, but when you fold it, it'll look perfectly fine. Okay, so you got your two end pieces. <clears throat> You're going to fold it in half. Sorry, my allergies are messing with me. I'm going to put a little drop of glue in just that little corner. You don't want to go up too high or your candy will, your, it'll 
you'll see when we fold it, it it'll stick out too far. You just want to put a little drop of glue right there in that little center. And then I wipe off the piece, the glue that comes out. And then you're gonna fold it twice. You're gonna come down once this way and then back up so that you get that little look. You can glue it now. I go ahead and fold all sides. And then put glue <clears throat> in each of the little creases. that everything has glue in there and then just pinch it wipe off the glue and then because I don't like to hold it I take a clip I have a little ring light that I use because it doesn't squeeze too tight and then let that dry while I start on the next one I used to just hold it a little pinch of glue in the center and squeeze it <clears throat> I'm going to show you a different way you can do it. So you can fold it down and then back up. And then in each of those little open spots, a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. Pinch it. I just had an order for 39 of these the other, you know, like a couple weeks ago. So I did what was most convenient to knock out that order and then um, glue on this side and then you know how to line it up so you can put glue on there and then just fold it and you can play around with your ends and make them however you want these are just the way i make mine and then that's how they look that one's dry by now Alright, set those aside. Okay, so whatever color you want to be in the center, like on this one, the white, is going to lay down on the bottom. And then I put glue just on the very edge of it. And then I take the pink, which is going to go on the outside, and I lay it just right on top of that. So that it's like that and you have a big long strip. I switched to doing it this way compared to my previous video because the other way it's really easy to burn your fingers with the hot glue. So then you just take flip it over and then where the white piece is put a little bit of glue there not a lot and then bring it down some. And then you're going to flip the pink over so that it then looks like this. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to show this on a video. And then you lay it this way and you have your little folded over piece. I put a thin line of glue right here. We're gonna start our candy. And then you're gonna take and you're just gonna roll. You're gonna keep it lined up as best you can. Roll it. And then you can lay it flat and then you can push down on it. That way if you got off track at all, it stays nice and smooth. Once you do that, then you're just gluing all the pieces. Some will take and just keep wrapping and not put glue there. I don't like that. I want mine to hold, be held together really well. So I put glue everywhere. And then just wrap the white one around. And 
on the pink. I'm going to put glue all the way to the tip of the pink this time. Hold that in place. And then the white. Now normally if you wanted to stop and make this a smaller candy, you would cut the white like right here and bring the pink over and glue it and then you would make that would make one of these little small ones. Then add your ends, but I'm making an extra large one, so I'm going to add another row of white and pink. That's what it looks like for now. All right, take another white strip. I put a little line of glue on the tip of it. And then a little on the side. You don't have to do that. I just do it. And then you're going to line it up against the one that you have that you just finished. And then I'm going to hold it in place while it dries some so it doesn't separate. And just put a little bit of glue to catch the white up to the pink. And then grab a pink strip. Do the same thing. And then bump it up against the pink strip that's already on there. And then continue to just keep building your candy. I'm going to go all the way to the tip because I'm going to add another one. Same with the white, finish it off. If you wanted a medium sized candy, you could stop here. But we're not. She ordered the extra large. So on this part, see where the pink is on the bottom and then you have your white, you want to end the white before the pink ends because you're going to end your candy. So I put just enough glue and leave about an inch to a half inch of the pink showing still. We'll see that. And then I cut the white. So that when I end it, the pink will go over the top of it. So just pull that around and then see how that goes over it? I'm gonna hold this one good and make sure it's nice and dry. Okay. And then you wanna add your little candy pieces. So the first one's gonna bump right up against that little edge right there. If you can see that. So I just take and I put just a little bit of glue on the end of this. And then I bump it right up against that. And push. And 
Now when I'm finished with this, I usually take and I paint Mod Podge on one side of them and add glitter. When that dries, put Mod Podge on the back, add glitter. If you don't want glitter, you can just leave them plain like this, but I feel like putting a coat of something on there helps protect it and also helps hide like just any of the little like parts of glue that might show or the flaws. Um, so you, if you just want like a glossy finish, you can just add Mod Podge and no glitter or triple thick to it and it gives it a nice shiny finish and also helps to protect that foam. Like I don't leave mine just bare. All right, and then that is the finished product. And then here's like some small ones, and then I have a middle size one. So that's my little candies. Um, I hope this video helps you to make them. If you have any questions, just um, comment below and I will help you out the best I can. Thank you.